Alright, what's going on everybody? So this is going to be my review for the Square Enix 2015 E3 press conference. I'm going to try to make it quick because, I don't know, the atmosphere of this uh, press conference was kind of dull and boring and really mellow. I don't know, it wasn't the games, it, I don't know, I think it was just the the presenters and just the audience. They just made it real dry. But uh, anyway, yeah, let's briefly go through the games. Um, Just Cause 3 is coming out December 1st. Really looking forward to that game. Um, whether I pick, I, I definitely want to play the game. It all just determines on uh, what games come out around it and if I'm able to just spare the time to, uh, you know, dedicate it to Just Cause. But I was surprised at December 1st because not a lot of developers actually want to commit to releasing their games at all in December, really. But that's a, I think that's a good choice. And, uh, you know, Just Cause is a true open world game that gives you complete freedom and doesn't weigh you down with reality. So it's going to be a good game. Uh, next was Nair. Uh, apparently, I think they said this was a PlayStation exclusive. I'm not even sure. I think they said that. But I think, this, I think it was just also CGI or some teaser trailer. They didn't really show as much. So I really don't have much to say about it. Next was, of course, Tomb Raider. And I liked it. It was much better than the video that they showed at the Xbox conference. The Xbox conference was like just a suspenseful uh, cinematic piece, really. Uh, this showed a little bit more gameplay. Um, it really, Tomb Raider really seems to be keeping that whole survivor feel about it and uh, just that real caution and danger and everything's a hazard from the wildlife to the, the people and it's real gruesome, so I'm definitely looking forward uh, to Tomb Raider that you know it looks good and I checked out the extended gameplay it looks fun to me it looks good 2013 um, Tomb Raider was my game of the year uh, Lara Croft Go which is the mobile game because you know they have Hitman Go now there's Lara Croft Go not really gonna talk about it Final Fantasy 7 remake if you saw the PlayStation conference then you already saw this so really not much to say about that we're all excited for a Final Fantasy 7 remake um, a Kingdom Hearts Android and iPhone game, mobile, once again, not going to talk about it. Kingdom Hearts 3, we're all excited for that. Man, I, I actually feel like I need to go go back and play Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, though. Honestly, I feel like I, I, I need to do that before 3 comes out. I need I got to make that happen somehow. I, I got to make it happen. Um, this does, I, do, I don't believe this has a... Well, I believe it's coming out 2016. That's uh, all we really know. They showed some pretty riveting, compelling gameplay. Looks uh, looks like a lot of fun, and they've uh, it, they seem like they're gonna hit it out the park with that one. Um, World of Final Fantasy, which is this, I guess, quote unquote, cute little Final Fantasy game. It's adorable. Um, little char character creatures of the Final Fantasy uh, characters. Not really much to say about that. Hitman, a new Hitman game. I, I, I'm not sure if the official title was World of Assassins, but it's more of an open world Hitman where you can uh, take on different missions. Um, missions seem to be dynamic, uh, you know, where you go and target um, different objectives and anything, everything like that. It seems to be less uh, less linear than the previous games, and it's like an infinite, ever expanding. Uh, world of targets and you go different places in the world and everything like that it seems to have the same mechanics as the previous hitman which I had somewhat of a problem with I don't think those mechanics really enabled you to be uh, was it, I feel like it wasn't really based on your skills with stealth as far as like the costume mechanics go and people looking at you long enough and then detecting and then realizing it's you. I didn't like that whole thing. You know, I felt like that could have been executed a little bit uh, better. But looking forward to that Hitman. Star Ocean, Integrity and Faith. Uh, that that looks like a looks like, you know, solid RPG gameplay. And lastly, Deus Ex. I played and beat uh, Human Revolution. It was a very, you know, surprisingly good game. Um, well, I didn't well not that it was surprising that it was good. I wasn't familiar with the series before that, so this was actually the first one I played, so I didn't really know much about the series, but it was a very good game. So Deus Ex, uh, Deus Ex Mankind uh, Divided looks definitely to be promising. And uh, yeah, it was, it was decent, 
conference, but it was uh, somewhat kind of boring. It was pretty dull. You know, just everybody who presented and just the atmosphere. It seemed like they definitely had a limited amount of people like Bethesda, uh, the PC Gamer Conference, and um, Square Enix. They had much less people than all the other conferences that are usually there. So that might have been why. But yeah, that's my um, really short review on the Square Enix 2015 E3 conference. Thank you for watching. I'm out of here. Peace.